My father trained thoroughbred racehorses for about 30 years and a friend of the family was a vet and just told, told me when I was younger that it would be a good occupation to get into. So that's how I got started and I've been doing it for 27 years now. The biggest thing with horses, unlike humans, horses' teeth continually grow. So we come in here, the main thing we do is file their teeth down, which is called floating and take their sharp points off. And we also extract baby teeth, just like kids. They have permanent teeth coming in and the baby teeth are coming off. And we speed up the process by uh, pulling the baby teeth, which are called caps, and then floating. And then they chew with a circular motion and their teeth wear back unsmooth or uneven and get sharp points on again. So it's about every six, four to six months we come in here and work on these horses' teeth. We put a, a called a mouth spec in the horse that keeps their mouth open. That way I can work because their teeth go all the way, you know, from here all the way back to here. So you're looking at a, you know, a wide area, a deep area that we're working on. So the mouth spec holds their mouth open where I don't tend to get bit and have room to work, work in there. Just palpating the mouth to see what was going on in here. This particular horse is a little bit older, so she is not going to have any caps or wolf teeth. I didn't know the horses needed dentistry, you know, that's a big reaction if they don't know. Of course, this industry that we're in on the racetrack are very familiar with it, but, you know, the layman people don't realize that horses do need dentistry. 